Hi folks, just a very quick uh, review as always. Um, I just got this brand new model, Academy's uh, Broom Bear. It has been out for a while now, <clears throat> but at the moment I've got a thing about Broom Bears. So I've I've just recently built, just move this out of the way and show you. I've just recently built this late model Broom Bear here which is the old Shanghai Dragon kit from 20 odd year ago. It's been upgraded with, with, with several features. Uh, least of all is the Tamiya Zimmer. It's turned out really nice and fitted quite well actually. Um, I did have to cut it over size and trim it down so it fitted. So I'm just working on that at the moment, still to weather etc. Another broom bear that I've had on the go for a while is that one there, which is Dragon's mid model with the Zimmer already molded on. Nice kit as Dragon normally are. And then I have been working on this one for a few years and I get put on the back burner and stuff like that, but it's. Um, uh, the old, it's made by Hobby Boss now, but it was Tristar when I bought it, and it's an early broom bar, or stone pans or stripper. So that that's coming along as well. So I, ha I have a thing at the moment about uh, broom bears. The Academy kit, um, very very nice. I'm a big fan of Academy's new kits. Uh, I have already built, but still to be painted, a lot of their kits. Uh, this this is based on the same chassis, so it's the Stunger Schutz 4, fear, lovely kit. And it comes with the, with the Zimmerit sheets, which I'll show you in a second in the Broom Bear Tour. So, lovely kit. As I say, I'm a big fan of the Academy kits. Uh, it's like Tamiya quality. Uh, Tamiya buildability really, but uh, detail like Dragon, so it's a kind of best best of both worlds. There is there is a a few things that I don't like about these uh, Academy kits. One of which is it's got the rubber band tracks. Uh, I do have a lot of Magic tracks spare, thanks to my good buddy over in Texas. He sent me over a bunch of them a few years ago, so that's not a problem for me. Uh, really nice kit, as I say, super detailed. There is there is a few niggly things, but the other good thing I like about it as well is it's um, very cheap. I mean, these are on average £30 plus P&P, &P, £35, whereas a Dragon equivalent would be £50, £60, £70 maybe even. So very, very good value and as I say, lovely kit. So I'm a huge fan of these. Uh, on to the Broom Bear, uh, Academy Broom Bear. And I have taken these out of the bags already for a, for a nosy, but you get your instructions. Ligatory instructions, very nicely printed, nice big sheet, uh, a few cover things as well for things to watch out for. Uh, they put in red where you put the glue, so that, that's quite handy for, well, for beginners I suppose, red there, red there, so just put the glue around there, but uh, yeah, uh, nicely, more, uh, nicely printed. Uh, they've, they've changed this slightly with, with their previous ones. It was like a, like a two-part pull-out thing, uh, but very easy to understand. Uh, the basic uh, body, or top half at least, least is a one-piece moulding, slide moulded, very, very nice slide moulded from all directions, really, really nice. Uh, this, uh, this is the gun sprue. 
again nicely molded slide molded as well really really top-notch stuff i really like this styling that they use it's very tamiya-esque in color and also quality um i did notice before with the academy kits it's a very sturdy plastic uh some other kit manufacturers use a softer plastic which tends to break sometimes it snaps i've snapped a few things in the past but this is this is really sturdy so really nice and all these other parts are basically the same as what you get in the Stug and the Panzer IV kits. So it's all the same sprues, the share, the share, the share common sprues, obviously. It's the same family and it's only really the top part that's different. So you've got the shoots in there, tools, tracks, various, various types of rear end. Uh, depending on which model you're building and the hanger rails the tools etc really nicely molded you have your chassis flat pack ch uh, chassis uh, as i say i've built these uh, with the stug and the panzer IV. no problem at all about building these they fit like a glove as i say very tamiya-esque you fit beautifully uh, again a few different options here for your for your front it depends on which model you're going for and also your your back hull top plate as well and various drivers vision ports machine guns etc not for this particular model this is obviously for, for the panzer IV. Um, you can tell as well i'll show you this in a second Again, that's the other sprue with the, with the mudguard defenders, hull tops, different configurations again. So they are obviously, it's pretty obvious to say, they are going to make quite a few different versions of the of the Panzer IV. So they've got the Panzer IV out as Furing H, which is that bad boy there. Uh, it looks like they'll either bring out a, a G or possibly even an F. Going by these. And also go and buy this because you have uh, the late sprockets and idlers and the early sprockets and idlers. So they must be bringing out Panzer, Panzer IV F or G, I reckon. Same wheels, obviously, different hubcaps. So you've got the later hubcaps again for the H and the earlier hubcaps for the G or earlier various brackets which are not used in this particular model i don't think i think these are for the uh, uh the stug and uh, there's a few things that are for the panzer IV as well so as i say that's a generic uh sprue there's four of these so uh and that's about it really well, the most important part uh as i say rubber band tracks which are which are nice actually very nicely molded uh, it's got quite a good, uh, quite a good locking system actually, um, and I will use these on on the on the other broom bar that I'm just about finished, uh, the Shanghai Dragon broom bar, because uh, that's going to have quite a lot of shooting on it, so they're more or less covered anyway. So and and it gets them used up because I've got three sets of these now so so they've got to get used up the other thing i wanted to show you was uh, a very very small uh, decal sheet just a balkan kreutz uh, number three seven of eleven and one and then you have your uh, these are for the fire extinguishers some nice decals, just a nice bit of detail. But uh, this is this is the uh, the, uh, the similar. It's made by DEF models in Korea, uh, where where Academy comes from. These are superb. I've done a few videos previously about these. Uh, you cut them out, you put them on just as water slide transfers. You let them dry. They are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've showed you them on the Stug previously. Uh, they're quite subtle might not pick it up on the on the camera there quite subtle around there and also on the chassis and the same thing 
on the Panzer IV you have the uh, edit civet all round here. Really, really nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye.